Hey, what's up, everyone? It's J Dog, J Dog's DVD Dungeon here for the third time. This should be the last. Uh, should clear up most of the VHS I picked up lately. Anyway, this is gonna be part three of my VHS update. Hope you guys enjoyed the first two. Got a little more horror stuff, uh, some po post-apocalyptic movies, shit like that mixed into this one. So, but the first one I'm gonna show you is Death Before Dishonor. This is like a mercenary movie. Really like this movie. Used to watch it a lot when I was younger. So check it out, Death Before Dishonor. If you like a good action movie, there's another one. Uh, it's like kind of post-apocalyptic bikers and shit. This is Savage Dawn. It's got George Kennedy, Karen Black, Richard Lynch in this. I don't know. It's a fun movie. It's a different movie. Found this at the pawn shop. Figured I'd check it out. No, it didn't cost me eight ninety five like the sticker said. It cost me fifty cents. So and here's another one I picked up. I got this from the movie store. This is a media copy of the Iron Warrior. Never watched it, but it looks pretty badass from the cover. And to look at the back, you can see titties right on the back. So how can you not think this is good? Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a watch and dub it to a DVD here one of these days. Fun looking fantasy movie. Cool cover art, if anything. Here's another movie. I really love this movie. It's a media copy of World Gone Wild. Yes, this has uh, got Bruce Dern in this, uh, Michael Perry, like uh, Eddie from Eddie and the Cruisers, Michael Perry. You got Bruce Dern, he's from the Burbs and stuff. It's a fun movie, post, post apocalyptic movie, like a, but like a world. Uh, where all the water's contaminated and like everyone's fighting for clean water and these people they have a little settlement uh, where they have a spring and there's like a there's like a cult that comes to try to take over and yeah you know, like Bruce Dern he goes into the city recruits Michael Perry and his band of misfits to fight him off really fun movie I don't know I suggest everyone check that out I I like this movie it's good times She was brand new and sealed when I picked it up, so I cracked it open and gave it a watch. But that's World Gone Wild. There's another one I got from the video store. This is a Lucio Fulci. Yeah, a forgotten Fulci film. This is The New Gladiators from Media. This is a lot like The Running Man, I gotta say. Futuristic movie, like about criminals being put into a game for uh, ratings for the TV station, and you got these guys chasing after them. Yeah, a lot like The Running Man. But Fulci did it first. So, yeah, that's the new Gladiators. If you're a fan of Fulci and you want to see something different, track this down and give it a watch. It's fun. Here's another uh, futuristic movie, a lot like World Gone Wild. This is Striker. Once again, contaminated water. That's what everyone's fighting for. And you got this band of very sexy women with a couple of dudes. They uh, found these springs and they're hiding out there. And you got like the evil guys that are coming after them. They want the water. Everyone's trying to kill Striker. I don't know. It's a fun movie. You can check it out. That's from Embassy. That's Striker. Let's see. Sex sexy ladies on the back. Fun movie. Here's another one I really enjoyed. Uh, some good action in this, some good fights. This is Angel Town. Yeah. Oliver Grunner. He stars in this, and little martial arts fucker. Uh, he's like a karate chap or something, and he moves away. He's uh, going to this university, trying to take some classes. Couldn't get an apartment anywhere, so he has to go rent one in the hood down where the essays hang out. And yeah, the essays, they don't like. Uh, little white boy creeping around so they start pressuring him and the, where he's living and he kind of gets mixed up into the whole thing because they're trying to get the son of the woman he's renting from to join the gang and yeah it's got one mexican he must get his ass kicked from the angel town guy like about eight times in this movie so that's pretty funny like i don't know it's just a lot of good fights some good action if, if you like stuff like that I, don't know. I got a kick out of it i thought it was really good Another one here, this is a horror film. This is a slasher, like kind, kind of a demonic slasher, I guess. Like there's a guy who kills 11 people, he gets electrocuted, and uh, when the girls of this uh, academy, they have the annual stay awake party. Well, he kind of possesses them and starts killing them off. Good times. 
was it stay awake? Check it out. It's fairly rare, I think, so. Toy Soldiers. It's an action film. This is like a, some, uh, s some college students, they uh, set out to rescue some other college students or friends of theirs or something like that that are uh, being held uh, captive in a third world country and the government won't do anything about it. So with the aid of a mercenary and seven college students known as the Toy Soldiers, they go and kick some ass and bust them out. Never seen it, but I seen it at the thrift store and I thought it looked pretty cool. Worth a watch anyway, so I picked it up. It's another horror. This is some alien stuff. I got picked up a lot of alien and creature shit. Haven't had a chance to watch this, but I've wanted to see this for a long time. I remember like uh, this VHS always being at the mom and pop store and shit. Always seeing it, never renting it. <coughs> oh, pardon me, this cold's pissing me off. But anyway, when Tony grows up, he's gonna be just like daddy. So the tagline says, yeah, I don't know, worth a watch, I think, I'm going to check it out. There's another one I remember seeing this when I was a kid, and finally found the VHS. It's a media copy of Scared to Death. What can I say? I love this movie to death. It's just cheesy good times. Reminds me kind of like Chud, the way they're living in the sewers and stuff. But yeah, it's like a government experiment gone wrong, uh, it's like the perfect killing machine. It's out and it's uh, draining spinal fluid out of people with its long tongue. I don't know, it's weird. It's cheesy. It's fun. I'm scared to death. Another one, I watched this this morning actually and I really enjoyed it. Media copy of Creature. This one was actually nominated for Best Horror Film in 1984. So, a lot of good gore. It's like. Uh, I had the same guy that did the special effects for Star Wars and stuff, did like the spaceship shit and stuff in this, so it was pretty good, not bad, uh, a little bit like Alien, once again there's like these creatures, they've been awakened after thousands of years, like, uh, oh where the fuck are they, they're in Saturn, one of Saturn's moons they're exploring, and so it starts killing them off, it like sucks their brains out, and yeah, lots of good gore and stuff, and then the creatures are, uh, once they kill the people, like, the people are kind of possessed, like, zombies by the creature, and, yeah, it's fucked up. It's good times, though. Check it out for media video. This is one, this is from Vestron. It's kind of a exploitation comedy. This is Allie. It's, like, sexy young girl. She was a penthouse playmate of the year. This is, uh, Sheila Kennedy is her name, actually, the girl that plays Allie. But anyway, her dad marries this woman that, uh, Kind of a, like she kills off her husbands, collects the cash. She kills her dad, and this woman's got a bunch of sons and stuff. And Ellie knows what happened, and so she starts taking her revenge and killing them off one by one in weird, quirky ways. Kind of a fun movie, not bad. I watched it yesterday, so, eh, I don't know. I wouldn't really recommend it, but it was okay. Boxing, exploitation movie, black exploitation. This is Penitentiary 2. This is Too Sweet and Mr. T. It's not bad. It's worth a watch if you like that kind of stuff. It's Penitentiary 2. Oops. 976 Evil, Uncut. Uh, Stephen Jeffries. I don't know. It's a fun movie. I enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm going to try to go fast to get the rest of these done. Berserker. It's a slasher, backwoods slasher movie. This is brand new. I picked it up, uh, Prism, Prism Video. It's not bad. It's nothing great, but it's okay. It's from, this is from Lightning Video. This is The Creature from Black Lake. Really enjoyed this movie. This is like a Bigfoot movie from the late 70s. Really cheesy, really fun. I, love, I fucking love this movie. I suggest you check it out. Creature from Black Lake. And grab Dragnet from the thrift store. The Substitute. Pick that one up as well. And before I'm out of time, this other weird movie, I don't know. Mutant on the Bounty. Looks strange. It said it was a big hit, big drive-in hit in the early 90s. So figured what the fuck, for the cheap price, I'd pick it up. And also... Got some big boxes of Enter the Ninja. This one was sent to me by a good friend on the Canadian Ferox message board. And before I'm out of time, 
another MGM big box of Jim Cotta. Like uh, gymnastics and martial arts mixed. It's not a bad movie, actually. There's some uh, pretty good action sequences in it. So. Yeah, it's Enter the Ninja and Jim Cotta. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed my uh, VHS update. Haven't done any for a while. I'll be back with DVDs in a bit, so stay tuned. This is J-Dog from the Dungeon saying peace out.